Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I will show you what to do when the Wacom driver won't install on Windows 10. Wacom is a Japanese company that specializes in graphics, tablets and related products with millions of users worldwide. As popular as it is, lots of users reported Wacom driver installation issues like abrupt closing or repeated errors while running scripts from the package. The causes can vary from corrupted drivers to an outdated operating system that can create compatibility issues with the Wacom devices. So let's take a look at how to solve this issue in no time. For a more detailed explanation and even more solutions, please check the article in the description below. The first solution is removing all traces of Wacom drivers. To do that, just click the start button in the lower left corner and simply type device manager. Then click on device manager. In the device manager window, you have to locate the Wacom tablet under human interface devices. Then right click on it and select uninstall. Make sure to unplug your Wacom tablet. Check if the problem still persists. If not, just proceed to the following solution. You can also update your operating system. You can do that by clicking the start button in the lower left corner and then writing settings. Then click the settings option. Now navigate to update and security section. There you have to click check for updates button. Windows will now check for available updates. If any updates are available, they will be downloaded automatically in the background. Once you downloaded the updates, they will be installed as soon as you restart your PC. And another great solution is performing a clean boot in Windows. You can do that by clicking the start button in the lower left corner and writing msconfig. Then just click on system configuration or press enter. From system configuration, navigate to the services tab, check hide all Microsoft services and click disable all. Then navigate to the startup tab and click open task manager. Right click the first entry on the list, choose disable from the menu. Do this for all entries on the list. Then return to system configuration, click apply and ok to save changes and restart your PC. For more information and details, please check the article in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.